Go Knights, men and women's basketball playoffs are right around the corner. Come cheer on your Knights. An upcoming local band just released their new album. Catch some of their songs here. The dining hall will be opening soon, but with a ribbon cutting, get the details here. Hi, I'm Brooke Morris and welcome to this week's update. We begin with a big story on campus. Cafeteria renovations are coming to a close. These renovations, which began around Thanksgiving, is a complete re-imaging of the Bruder Life Center cafeteria. Our own Andrea Rowe was on scene to take a sneak peek of the dining hall. As you can see here, the contractors are adding the finishing touches to our brand new dining facilities. These new facilities will include a new student seating section along with brand new updated appliances. The ribbon cutting for the opening of the cafeteria will take place on March 6th. We are very excited to welcome a new addition into the building. Back to you guys in the studio. There are reboots and revivals being made like it's Hollywood's job right now. From Fuller House to Girl Meets World to Will and Grace, people are anticipating what it's going to come next. And for some, the wait is over for Roseanne fans. After announcing that the iconic sitcom starring Roseanne Barr and John Goodman was coming back, it had fans questioning what the storyline would be. Now, if you watch the series, then you know that John Goodman's character, Dan, dies at the end. But Goodman will be coming back for the revival, and fans will be told what had happened during the first couple episodes. Roseanne returns Tuesday, March 27th at 8 p.m. on ABC. And I don't know about you, but I was a huge Seinfeld fan. So, could fans be in for a reunion soon? Well, after being asked by Ellen DeGeneres this week, Jerry Seinfeld gave fans a hopeful answer. Take a look. All these, these sitcoms are having a resurgence. So Roseanne is doing it. Mm -hmm. I heard Murphy Brown. Is that really true? Murphy Brown's doing it? Um, so Murphy Br and, 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 and Candace Bergen is coming back. Yes. Yes. See, and I, I think I know where you're going with yeah, this. Yeah, I think you Why do. you finish it? Well, <laughs> do you think, Jerry, there would be a possibility that the Seinfeld it's, would come back? It's possible. Fingers crossed there's some kind of reunion for the group pretty soon. Until then, you can catch Seinfeld's current show, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee, now on Netflix. Well, that's all I have in the spotlight for entertainment today. I'm Aaron Marks for Newman Night Live. The happiest place on earth rounds out our entertainment news for today. It has been announced on Good Morning America that the brand new Toy Story Land will open on June 30th at Walt Disney World Hollywood Studio theme park. Guests will be immersed in the world of Toy Story and feel as though they were a part of all the movies. And finally, the highly anticipated movie trailer for The Incredibles 2 was released this week. The trailer released on Wednesday that already has 12 million views on the official Disney Pixar account, over a million on Instagram, and millions more on various fan sites. Disney City Incredibles 2 will hit theaters on June 15th. The Go Around, a local band from the Philadelphia area, has just released their new album and played a charity concert. See it here first. The Go Around is a rock duo based out of Philadelphia, fronted by brothers Alexander and Anthony Sadik. Their most recent release is a full-length album called I Fought. Over the years, the band has gathered some notable local success, performing at festivals such as the Wilmington Flower Market alongside performers like Andy Grammer, Katie Tiz, and American Authors, as well as large area venues such as the Trocadero Theater, the Theater of Living Arts, and World Cafe Live. On February 3rd, the go-around performed at WCL for the Musicians on Call event. We have chosen confidently in WXPN Musicians on Call to benefit the charitable efforts that we are making in honor of our dear friend Bradley Thompson, said the band. We believe strongly in the work they are doing. In addition, their relationship with local radio is strong, as they appear on Philadelphia's Radio 104.5, Wilmington's WSTW, and college stations such as Newman University's 98.5. The band spent the summer of 2017 touring the U.S., filming and releasing a music video for their latest single, Dear Emily, and writing and recording new music that will hopefully be released later this year. Still, the go-around has much bigger goals for the future and have no intention to ever stop reaching. You can follow the go-around on Facebook, Instagram, or at www.thegoaround.com.
The Newman University women's basketball team fell to Queen and Mercy University 83-63 on Wednesday evening in a key CSAC conference matchup. Over the first few minutes of the game, the teams traded baskets back and forth. The Griffins then went on a small run and built a 14-8 to eight lead. Olivia. A jumper by Alex Ross Fernandez Lynn. midway through the second quarter gave the Knights the lead 27-26. to 26. The lead was short-lived when the Griffins went into the halftime with a 39-29 advantage. Gwyn and Mercy no, continued to build up its lead to come away so. with the 83-62 win and secure the number two seed in the postseason. The Newman University men's basketball team fell just short of a comeback, 81-79, right after that game on Wednesday night against Gwyn and Mercy. Prior to the game, the Knights honored seniors Tyer Hudson, Billy Cassidy, and Adam Robinson. During the first half of the game, Newman would get within a point or two, but Gwyn and Mercy would answer before the Knights could get the key basket to take the lead. The Knights had the ball for the last shot to tie or hit a buzzer beater, but they could not get the ball to fall in the basket and came up short 81-79. Monday begins the start of the CSAC playoffs. Both teams will play at Newman University at 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock. That's all for this week's update. I'm Brooke Morris, and I'll catch you next time.